all over the UK, in schools, colleges, universities and workplaces, Sikhs have been questioned on their faith by Muslims and Christians who wish to convert them. Now there's nothing new about preachers, but the problem is that one, our leaders haven't invested in educating our youth, and two, these missionaries especially target those people who don't know much about Sikhi and might be from broken families. This is a series of videos that responds to the usual arguments made by these missionaries and preachers. What's our aim? To arm our youth with the knowledge to understand the power of Barney and send these preachers on their way and to leave us alone. What's not our aim? The Sikhs then go up to these preachers and have an argument with them or try to show off about Sikhi. The message is we should be grateful to be a Sikh, not proud. We didn't make it, so we should just say Tan Gunanak, read Barney and learn more about Sikhi. They'll say, you Sikhs, yeah, you believe all religions are the same, innit? All, all religions are equal. What do most Sikhs say to that? If I say, do you believe all religions are equal? What are you going to say? Hands up those who say yes. Come on, be brave. If you're going to say that, say it. Put your hand up. Okay, who's going to say no? Some of, most of you are like, I'm not putting my hand up. I'm like, what goes on? Man, I'm not going to take your hand next to my ear. They say, how can all religions be the same? They're so different. There's one person worshipping Chue, Tikana, in Hindu. There's um, um, some other Buddhist walking towards a mountain, doing Dandod Bandhan every step. There's some Muslim doing his sajda towards the, um, the Mecca. And there's somebody else who is uh, reading Barney. How can they all be the same? They're doing so many different things. You understand? So, this is going to trip up the normal Sikh. Because on the Patani they say, yeah, but we think all religions are the same. And they go, yeah, but they're very different. So it can't be that they're all the same because they're different. If they're different, one must have more truth in it, one must have less truth in it. So then they start thinking, which is the most true religion? You understand? It's logical, isn't it? Next thing they're thinking, what is the most true religion? Then they'll say, but it can't be, Sikhi can't be the most true because Sikhi accepts everybody. What is the truth? So here we need to make a distinction about what we actually believe and what people tell us we believe. We do not believe that all religions are the same. We believe all people are the same. Some of you? We believe religions are different. Some religions have more truth, some religions have less truth. Some have got more pakhand, some have got less pakhand. Some of you? Maharaj Sachda Maharaj. Sikhi is all about such. So what did Guru Maharaj do? They took away the jute. And this is a little story for you. You know, Sant, um, Sanjay Nansen Ji Khasa Pindrawali, yeah? We all accept them, but well, most people do anyway, I do, yeah? Now, when Sanji, they were living outside of Dandamitak Sal when they became the head. And everybody was a bit surprised that somebody so young, somebody who was outside living in Gristi Jeevan, suddenly got given the, the Jajdar ship of the whole Dandamitak Sal. And when they came to this acceptance speech, let's call it acceptance speech, yeah? The Ardas was done, the Star Bandagi is done, then they sit down, they do their first talk. They said something very interesting. They said, Guru Granth Sahib Ji was made by Guru Ajahn Dev Ji Maharaj, majoritarily. They said, when Maharaj made Guru Granth Sahib Ji, they left one thing out. People got a bit shocked. We said, Guru Granth Sahib Ji is perfect, is poor and is complete. Nothing can be left out. Then they said, Maharaj, they said, Ek cheez ni pai, chuch ni paya. They never put in any falsehood, no lies in Guru Granth Sahib Ji. It's all the truth. Are they such a jugaad is such a happy such a nanak hosi pi such. In the middle, Maharaj says, Aad Puran, Mad Puran, Ant Puran Parameswar hai. Poti Parameswar ka thaan. This is the thaan of Vaheguru. It's, it's in the perfect in the beginning, perfect in the middle, perfect at the end. There's no lies inside it. So therefore, we don't believe that all religions are the same. We believe all the names of God are the same. Allah keh lo, Ram keh lo, koi fark ni penda. We believe all people are the same. Manas ki jaad, sab ek ek pachanbo. We believe all religious places are the same. Mandir vich naam jap lo, masjid vich naam jap lo, koi fark ni penda, gurdwari naam jap lo. But we do not believe all religions are the same. Because Maharaj is saying, Ram, Rahim, Puran, Quran, and ek hai, mat ek na maanya. They're saying all the time that some things are not parakat in different religions and that's why Maharaj had to come and give the ultimate truth. Just think about it. If the religions before Guru Nanak Dev Ji Maharaj were given the truth, why would they come? They're saying that the world is not perfect. 
So they had to come to give the truth. So obviously it didn't exist when Maharaj came. So we don't believe all isn't the same, we believe all people are the same. So that's one thing to get in your head. Okay? And some people are following truth, some people are following jute. So therefore to the jute people, Guru Nanaji Maharaj is showing to them, there's no point throwing water towards the sun. When they're going to Jagannath Puri, they're saying there's no point in Aarti in this way. The Maharaj is going to Mecca, they're saying there's no point believing that God lives in the Mecca. They're teaching all the time that you're getting the wrong end of the stick. Huh? Sahib Mira Eko hai, but he's inside. And in Bani, you want to go even deeper? Bhagat Nam Devji says, Hindu Anna Turku Kana Duha Te Gyani Syana. They think the Hindu is blind. The Turku, the Muslim, is one eyed. And Duha Te Gyani Syana. From both of them, the Gyani, the person who is wise, spiritually wise, he is Syana, more clever than those two. Why do they say that? Because Bani says what a Gyani is. Pranavata Nanak, Gyani kaisa hoi, aap pachane bujhe soi. A Gyani knows himself, what they are, Atma is Vaheguru, and they know Akal Purk, Param Atma. If you know Atma and Param Atma, then you are Gyani. You can see, and what the Hindu does is like this. Doesn't see Atma inside them, and doesn't see Param Atma because they go to stones. And the Muslim sees Param Atma, the one, but doesn't see Atma inside them. And the Sikh or the Gyani person sees Atma here and sees Paramatma. This is the difference between us. We accept, so we have both eyes open. That's a simple thing. So you can actually say, well actually, Guru Granth Sahib doesn't say that. It says the Hindu is blind and the Muslim is one-eyed and the Sikhs have got both eyes open. And that would be a bit surprising for them because they wouldn't have heard that one before. That's a good jawab to give. And they go, oh you're calling me one-eyed? You say, yeah. And they say, why? He said, because you can't see God inside yourself. You only look outside. Yeah? You see God as one, but you don't see God as inside you as well. And inside every single human being. <laughs>